Hey there, I want to show you how to make an interactive slideshow in Google Slides. To start, you'll need a blank slides presentation open. The first thing we're going to do is make our template. So to make your template, you're going to add a blank slide. Then come up here to background. You can either choose an image or add a color. I want to show you how to make a border, so I'm going to add a color. So to make a cool border effect, just grab a shape. I like the squircle. Square circle um, and line it up. So that's pretty even for right now. Um, I usually get nitpicky with it later uh, before I save it, but for right now, for this, it's fine. Change your border, change whatever you want to do. And now we have kind of a cool looking border slide, right? So this can be our background slide for our whole shebang. So let's save it just so we have it locked down because once you start adding stuff to it, you don't want the background moving around. So um, to do that, I'm going to go to File, Download, and I'm going to save it as a PNG image. From there, I'm going to add another blank slide and then add that image as the background. Okay, now this won't move, so I can put my pieces right on here to make my slideshow come to life. So what I want to do on this slideshow is make an interactive tens frame for my students. So I'm going to put my 10 frame on here. Then I'm going to put the directions up here for them because um, I want them to, you know, have some independent practice without me in their ear. So let's add some directions. So use the 10 frame to solve the problem. So I just said solve the problem, so now you can make this addition or subtraction, and save it for everything, okay? I want to add one more text box because I want somewhere to put our problem that will draw their attention to it so that they know where everything is. So I'm going to make it the same size. I'm going to change the color though because I like to, you know, make it fun. And then this is going to be my base for all of my slides, okay? So all my slides are going to be built like this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make another template of it. So download, PNG, blank slide, background, choose image, and upload that picture that we just saved. So now this is locked. This is not going anywhere, okay? So to make your addition problems on here, you'll just add a text box into the squircle. Oop, not that big. So add a text box into your squircle. All right, I'm gonna make the font really big though so that um, they, can, they know where the problem is. So let's just say three plus one, make it nice and easy, okay? Um, so you can do that and you can, if you really want to, it depends on my, the age of my students, but if you really want to, you could lock every single number down so that they can't delete any of the numbers, any of the math problems, or you could leave it and just update it like weekly for them. Um, I usually, before I give them to my students, lock down all of the problems so that they can't accidentally delete the problem. But if you wanted to um, have them do the answer and not delete the problem, you could just add another text box right next to it and um, set the font so that it's ready to go for them. Cool. Now let's make the manipulatives to use with our tens frame. So you're just going to go and get a circle. And I like to make sure it's going to fit. So I'm just going to draw it in my tent frame. Make sure it's nice and even. Maybe a little smaller. And then I'm going to color it. Okay. Oops, I don't want pink border. Okay. So now I can drag it over here. And then I can copy it and paste it and make as many little circles as I want <laughs> right over here. And they're just going to stay here. Okay, they're not going anywhere. They're just going to stay on this slide. So now you've seen how to make an interactive slide on Google. I hope it helps. Go crazy. Have fun.